You're watching TVC Breakfast. Economic Confidential's latest report has revealed that many states are groaning under a heavy debt burden. And for newly sworn in governors, this may pose a challenge to their performance as state administrators. The total debt stock for Nigeria's 36 states is 5.376 trillion naira. Now, Lagos State is top on this list with a local and external debt stock of about 1 trillion naira in 2018. The external debt uh, stock of Lagos is about 513 billion naira, while its local debt stands at 530 billion naira. Other highly indebted states for both local and external debt sto stock are Rivers, Delta, Cross River and Aquaibon. In the local debt stock category, the five highly indebted states are Lagos, Delta, Rivers, Aquaibom, and Cross River states. Now, the highly indebted states in the external debt category are Edo, Kaduna, Cross River, Bounty State. Now, the, late, uh, the least indebted states for external debt are Taraba, Borunu, Yobe, Plateau, and Kogi State. Now, of the 36 states of the Federation, Yobe, Jigawa, Sakoto, Katsina, and Niger states account for the lowest in the both domestic and external debts. Joining me now is the CEO Exitum Consulting, Adia Miyajai. It's good to have you join me right now. Good morning. Well, debts, debts, debts all over the place, but when you see from the eye of an economist or a businessman, it's totally a different thing. Absolutely. But is there anything to worry about when you read about the debts from states and all of that? And also you, you, you place them side by side with what, what, what the debts were used for. Absolutely. Thank you for the last statement. <clears throat> if you're getting a debt, what are you using that debt for? You should use debt for something that would generate values mm -hmm. for you and something that would generate sustainable values. So if we go back, let's analyze this debt. For Lagos State, yeah, we can see a lot of things around, yeah. If they top the list, you can top the list and be doing something well that brings value to people. You're driving the economic you know, activities in your environment. That's fine. You know, even the biggest economies in the world are in debt. Mm -hmm. However, if you go to some of these states, you ask the question, what were these debts used for? I mean, if you cannot pin it down to economic value, then someone somewhere is borrowing debt on behalf of the state. Hmm. Or state borrowing debt on behalf of someone. As it is right now, we have heard Oyo State, the new governor in Oyo State, uh, Shea Makinde, has said, well, 30,000 naira minimum wage, sorry, we can't pay for now. Uh, we also have heard from the new uh, governor in Kwara State who came out to say, well, for 30,000 naira minimum wage, for the debts we owe and other things we have to do right now, that has to wait. But let us see how <laughs> it was a way of putting it somehow. But it amounts to the same thing. And I know some of the state governors also have the, share the same mind of ah, 30,000 uh, minimum wage, can we pay? How challenging do you think the issues of finances are going to be for the incoming administration? Yeah, I, I think before you even take a leadership position, you should first ask yourself, what values am I bringing to the people? Mm -hmm. I mean, for, for nothing the fear at the beginning shows that with due respect, that there is need for uh, economic activities to be generated to meet these things. Saying totally no means that, okay, maybe you don't have a creative way of generating revenue. If I pick on some of these states, I keep saying it in several platforms that these states can generate their own revenue, mm -hmm. internally generated revenue. I mean, uh, uh, you, you can go into agriculture, which is the least we can do. How many of these states are industrialized? You know, that's a question. And if you go to each state in Nigeria, you discover that we have one natural resource or many mm -hmm. that they can capitalize on and industrialize. All it needs is just research. What value can this thing bring? And they turn it around to money. But how, how difficult or how, sorry, how challenging has it really been? Because these are analyses that we an average person understands but how challenging is it for governors over the years to translate that into working for their states yeah first it depends on people around them okay. number one i mean they should have economic think tanks that should be able to play this out then the second thing is uh, the cost of governance in nigeria is quite extreme you know if you have to look at it from that point and break it down mm. i mean if you don't put too much cost on governance i believe 
things can flow. So, to you, so you, you also think that the style of governance is very distracting to whoever is the chief executive? Uh, absolutely. Mm. We're relatives and all of that every day. I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> and political yeah. hangers on. I mean, a lot of things around in them. You know, at times you don't blame them. You know, it's just like they got into the middle of water before they discovered the depth. Mm. You know, most times that's the trouble they face. All right, we have to leave it here now. But thank you very much for making us understand. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. You're watching TVC Breakfast. Economic Conf Confidential's latest report has revealed that many states are groaning under a heavy debt burden. And for newly sworn in governors, this may pose a challenge to their performance as state administrators. The total debt stock for Nigeria's 36 states is 5.376 trillion naira. And Lagos State is top on the list with a local and external debt stock of about 1 trillion naira in 2018. The external debt stock of Lagos is about 513 billion naira, while its local debt stands at 530. 30 billion naira. Other highly indebted states for both local and external debt stock are rivers, the Delta, Cross River, and Aquaibom. In the local debt stock category, the five highly indebted states are Lagos, the Delta, Rivers, Aquaibom, and uh, Cross River states. Now, the highly indebted states in the external debt category are Edo, Kaduna, Cross River and Bauchi states. The least indebted states for external debt are Taraba, Borno, Yobe, Plateau, and Kogi states. Now, of the 36 states of the Federation, Yobe, Jigawa, Sakwatu, Katsina, and Niger states account for the lowest in both domestic and external debt. Joining me now is the CEO, Exitum Consulting, Adeyemi Ajay. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast and happy Eid, uh, Eid al Fitri. Yes. You. Now, when you look at, when you hear these figures uh, and you compare with how much the states generate, uh, it is said, according to reports, it's just 3% uh, higher than what the states generate. Is that something to worry about? Yeah, absolutely. Let's see uh, states generally over time should have uh, had a plan to even generate have its own uh, internally generated revenue you know increasing year on year you know there should be less reliance on uh, federal governments but unfortunately with some of these huge debts we're not seeing the track you know, in terms of economic uh, turnaround for many of these states so it's a, it's, it's a serious thing for concern. Because what, what the debt policy stipulates is that uh, most of this uh, monies are to be spent on priority infrastructure projects, which are supposed to benefit the people and cause a turnaround in the states. But if this is not translating to that, because uh, the state governors are spending more on recurrent expenditure as it is re reported, where do we go from here? How do we move from here? I think the best way to move is to have uh, programs that will invite investors. You know, we should have foreign direct investors to bring industries to these states. And uh, some of these states have potentials, and their potentials should be built on. The, the states should sit and ask themselves, what can we really do? you know, sustainable programs and uh, businesses to bring into that space. I strongly believe as a person that, I mean, if this is not sustainable, mm. if it gets to a point that the global economy is no longer interested in oil, what would we do? Mm. Now, in inviting I investors is on the one hand, perhaps on the long term, because you, there has to be the talk about paying salaries and all of those is also an aspect. How the governors, are, how, where do they start when it comes to thinking outside of the box? Because the last time the vice president spoke about the fact that the governors have to start looking at uh, taxes, you know, spreading their tax net. Yeah. Is that another angle Absolutely. that they, they, they should look at? Absolutely. The, the tax net is narrow, even in Lagos State. You know, though people complain of multiple tax rates, I agree with them. But dragging people into the tax net, you know, will also be a way out. But in some of these states where you have huge debts, you know, they're, they're civil servants' states. 
So how many people do you drag into the tax net there? What are the economic values there that will make you drag people into tax net? So it becomes difficult. Mm. And one of the ways is to create economic activities. If there are more economic activities, then there will be more people in the what tax net. What kind of net. economic activities quickly? Yeah, trades, commercial businesses, having vocations, training people, becoming entrepreneurial, going into agriculture, even IT. You know, these are some of the things that will bring people to generate their own money, then you can drag them into tax net. If I don't have a viable business in those areas, you are dragging me into tax net. You're just dragging empty pocket, <laughs> and we'll all be laughing. <laughs> all right, Adi Ajayi, thank you for your time on TVC Breakfast. Thank you very much.